Um, welcome back. In the previous part, I, I wrongly said that um, when we come back, we'll be rigging up. Um, I'll show you how to rig up the the arm so that it, we can use IK. The the thing is, once you've put the arm into this hierarchy, um, into this structure, um, the the rigging is done. You don't have to do anything. Unlike uh, some other programs where you you actually have to draw the bones into the limbs and position the joints and all that sort of stuff um, once we've put this parent um, we've arranged it into this structure and positioned the pivot points we've uh, we've already got um, a hierarchy so uh, oh sorry um, IK set up so I'm just going to remove all the keyframes from this example and and now I'll uh, I'll introduce you to the IK tool. So, what we need to do in order to see the bones active is to make sure this animate button's on. Uh, with the animate button on, just click on the um, IK button here, and then click on any of the layers or any of the the elements on the screen. You can hold down Control and select um, some of the some of the uh, one of the layers and then the bones will appear with that uh, thing selected but um, once that's done you can see now what I was talking about I can pull on this um, this hand and the rest of the arm follows around so I can just keyframe that hand um, wherever I want rather than like if I start it down the bottom like we were talking about before I can still press control and rotate the arm back a bit. This is just basically reproducing the, um, the previous animation. Um, so we bring the arm up. I'll once again rotate that hand back. Um, so it goes whoosh, and then bring it down a bit. Um, so as you can see I, c I can still use the pull the individual segments around, but um, it, this is really handy for th some things where you just want to quickly get th the basic movement um, and maybe tweak it a bit later. Um, now there are few, there are a lot more uh, applications for this than just character animation. I prepared a few examples um, and we'll have a look at them uh, now. I've got a couple in the library. Um, Here's one that's uh, a chain uh, swinging around. Um, basically, you can see that that's that's a pretty much the exact same thing. It's just a, a chain rig. Um, I'll turn off the chain so you can see it. Um, and I've put some nice little highlights on all the links. Now, each of those links is um, a bone and a joint. And then I've just keyframed it as uh, to make it swing. If I turn on the thing here you can see holding alt I can move individual bones um, and so I can get some nice uh, shapes in there if I want to um, I'll undo all that so I can save it and go back now I've got um, some seaweed this is another this is a nice kind of effect that that uh, basically each of these um, each bone, each bone and joint has a piece of like plant on it. So this is just seaweed waving around, and that that's um, made very easy by rigging. There is a little bit of setting up to do, as you can see. There's quite a number of of individual parts, and that's no different from setting up the um, the arm with its different segments. These are all just different segments of of a piece of seaweed. Um, and finally, I've got a cyclist, which consists of a couple of um, uh, of a couple of rigs. He's uh, he's got his off off offside thigh, which I've um, his offside leg and uh, pedal. The pedals are a little misaligned because of how I've got it, and it was kind of rushed. But you get the idea. Um, so if I just hide that offside crank and and leg, um, you can see how one works. But um, I'll also hide the the leg, and this is one rig. I'll just um, open that up so you can see it. Um, if we zoom in, these are this is just two bones. There's the crank is one bone, and the foot and the pedal is on another bone. Um, I'll hide the crank so you can just see that. That's just a piece of artwork 
um, and if I hide the the bone itself you can just see what the things doing the bone having the the this um, bone in here and having it rigged with IK allows me to control the the direction of this um, of this uh, element oh it's locked that's why I can't move it I'm trying to demonstrate something and it won't move right um, yeah anyway uh, I can control it that way with by holding down control I get this transform thing anyway this is a little bit um, getting a little bit into the nitty-gritty but uh, at least you can see that there we're not just limiting ourselves to characters when we talk about IK there's a, there's a whole bunch of applications right um, so back to our arm example um, I'm just going to show you how to um, pin some joints like if you wanted to you could uh, pin a joint so it won't move when you uh, when you start pulling the bones around like as we said I can move this around like this but if I don't want this joint to move or if I want his elbow to stay still I can just hold shift and click it and now only the only these two bones move that joint stays still um, I can also do that with bones I can hold this bone rigid and uh, and that way it won't move. Also, um, uh, another way to, of uh, another example of that would be to, if the character raises his arm with a gun in it, I can just hold that bone at that orientation. If I go to the tool properties, you can see that there's a couple of things. There's the nail, which um, will pin a, a joint, and the hold orientation, which will pin a bone, um, hold the orientation of a bone. So now if I move this down, the character might have a gun in, in his holster and then you go and his arm goes it looks great when it's all wigging out going weird um, so yeah there you go and when we come back in the next video we'll look at some more um, some of the uh, the little fine controls and and ways to do things